So dropship has never been as simple as it is in 2023 with the future of OpenAI. So imagine never having to do product research again. Imagine never having to do product descriptions again. Imagine never having to write ad copies, ad headlines for your Facebook ads, your TikTok ads. Imagine all of this being done with OpenAI. And more importantly, imagine it being done better than if you were to do it yourself because it's going to be based on proven data that actually works. So this isn't just going to save you hours and hours a week. This is also going to increase the chances of you seen success in your dropshipping store in 2023 because OpenAI by using ChatGBT is all driven by data proven information which means it's going to be more accurate for whatever you're doing with it. Hey guys welcome to the YouTube channel my name is Camille Sadon as the Ecom King and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you step by step how to use OpenAI through ChatGBT to outsource all of the tasks like product research, product descriptions, ad copies, ad headlines and overall audience research to increase the chances of you seeing success in your dropshipping store in 2023. And it's also going to save you hours and hours a week, which will increase the chances of you finding a winning product because you're spending less time having to do the daily tasks. And what I've also done for you guys in this video is I've created a free Google Doc sheet that's going to help you use ChatGBT in your dropshipping store. Because if you're new to this type of software, it's going to be a little bit complicated and you won't truly know how to use it. And that's why I'm making this video. And that's why I've also created a free Google Doc sheet showing you examples and how to use it so you can implement it straight away. So as soon as we hit 2,500 likes, it'll be in the pinned comment and in the description below. So guys, before I show you how to use ChatGBT for dropshipping, let me explain what ChatGBT is because I know there's going to be lots of people saying, what the hell is this thing? So what is ChatGBT? ChatGBT is a large language model chatbot developed by OpenAI based on GBT 3.5. It has a remarkable ability to interact in conversational dialogue from a provider response that can appear surprisingly like a human. Large language models perform the next task of predicting the next word in the series of words. Reinforcement learning with human feedback, RLHF, is an additional layer of training that uses human feedback to help ChatGBT learn the ability to follow directions and generate responses that are satisfactory to humans. So to simplify that for a lot of you guys, it basically just means that ChatGBT is like speaking to a human. And if you ask it a question, it's going to browse the web and find out all the information based on facts, and then it's going to provide it to you. So imagine like you were to type something into Google, but you'd have to browse to try and find what you're looking for. ChatGBT basically sums it up and tells you what to do. So as you guys can see on the computer screen, I'm on ChatGBT and this is what the website looks like and it's completely free to use at the current time of recording this and I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can use it. Now before we actually get on to using this you can see on this cheat sheet that I've created for every single one of you once we hit 2,500 likes I've split this up into product research I've split this up into website and I've also split this up into paid ads basically different ways you can use it for your dropshipping store. So let's start off by doing product research through ChatGBT so the first thing that we want to do is we want to find some examples of what products are doing well right now. So you can see here in quotations, it basically means that anything inside of the quotation is what you want to ask ChatGBT. So you can see here, best selling products in Q1. So we're in quarter one of the year. So I'm going to copy that go back to ChatGBT and I'm going to put it in this box right here and ChatGBT is going to create an answer for what I've just asked it. So as you guys can see, it's currently writing an answer for me and it can take a few minutes to process the answer. So you can see it says here, it depends on the industry and the market as different products will have varying layers of popularity and sales in general. However, some categories of products that tend to sell well in the first quarter of the year include and it lists all the different products out. And again, this is all coming from the web. So all this data is from the web and that's what makes makes it so powerful. So you can see here, these are a few niches that do well so far. Now, something that I'm actually interested in is health and wellness and physical and well-being. So you can see here in the cheat sheet, I've put some follow-up questions that you can ask after it answers that first question. So the follow-up question that I'm going to ask now is best fitness products to sell. So you can see here, now it's populating this answer saying some popular fitness products that tend to sell well include resistance bands, dumbbells, yoga mats, and fitness trackers. So it gives you a reason why they sell well as well. Now, out of this list of products that is populated for me, I'm going to choose one that grabs my attention. So the one that's grabbed my attention is yoga mats. Now, the reason why it's grabbed my attention is because I used to sell a yoga mat back in 2020, and I made a lot of money with it. And just to give you guys some context, the amount of in-depth details that ChatGBT goes into 
into is pretty impressive. You can see it's given me eight different products and it's gone into depth of why they're doing so well. But like I said to you, I'm going to stick to the yoga mats. So I'm going to say best selling yoga mats because yoga mats is pretty much a broad term and there's loads of different types of yoga mats. So I want to know out of that industry, which are the best ones to sell. So as you guys can see, ChatGBT is processing loads of different answers to the best selling yoga mats. And it's given me eight different types of yoga mats that are really good sellers. And it gives me the reason why. Now, I would want to, if I wanted to use this for product research, I would want to go to AliExpress and I would want to type in the names of these and see what comes up related to that keyword. Now, the one that really does grab my attention is the cork yoga mat. And you can see here, it's a sustainable and eco-friendly alternative to traditional yoga mats and mats are known for their durability and grip. Now, as the world really cares about the environment nowadays, I feel like this is a good product to sell because people love yoga, but they also want to think of the environment. So this one's grabbed my attention. So as you guys can see, I've gone to AliExpress and I've searched for cork yoga mat and you can see all of these cork yoga mats are coming up and they've got these really nice embossments into the mat and you can see they've got 224 orders, 52 orders. Now this yoga mat here was a yoga mat that I sold in 2020 and made a lot of money with it and this one's very saturated but I've actually never seen these cork yoga mats before and let me know in the comment section if you've seen this before or if you've heard these before or by using chat GBT it's the first time of you hearing about it. Now, I've also searched for cork yoga block because that was something that ChatGBT was telling me about. And you can see these are popping up as well. So I could sell both of them or I could use one as an upsell. Some more follow-up questions that I might want to ask ChatGBT to understand who the audience is. I could ask them who buys yoga mats, where sells the most yoga mats. These are some additional questions that you might want to ask to help you understand who your ideal customer might be and what it is about them so you know how to target them very well. Now, although so in the cheat sheet, mine says yoga mats, you'd replace this with the name of your product. Of course, this is just for the example of this video. Now, a follow up question that I've asked ChatGBT is how big is the cork yoga mat industry? And it's come back and said the size of the cork yoga mat industry is difficult to determine as there is limited data. So ChatGBT will only tell you things based on data. And that's what makes it so powerful because you know it's data driven. And it says here they, they struggle to find the data for cork yoga, but the whole yoga industry as a whole since 2020 is valued at $3 billion and it's looking to grow by 8 percent so eight percent of three billion that gives you your answer so there's plenty of money to be made if there's three billion dollars in that industry and the reason why i want to ask a question like this is to see how much money is on the table in this industry so that moves us on to the website build using chat gbt so you can see here website build with ai so this is designed to make your website building a lot easier through chat gbt so let's say we found our product using this method and i'm going to use the cork yoga mat for my example the next thing that i'm going to want to ask is what website sell cork yoga mats because i want to see who the biggest competitors are so i can get an idea for what it looks like if i was to build a website so you can see here it says there are many websites that sell cork yoga mats some of the popular options include and then it's going to give me the company names that are the most popular now why do i want to look at the most popular because it's going to help me understand how i should design my website what product descriptions they're using the wording they're using so it's going to help me find out the data that i need to know so this is one of the websites that chat gbt said that are the biggest in this industry. So their website is really nice. So I can take their logo into consideration, how they've designed it, the imagery they've used, but more importantly, the product description. Because if I don't know how to create a product description because I'm not a copywriter, I'm not a professional, then what a lot of people would tend to do is just copy and paste that. But that's not good for anyone. So what I might want to do is I might want to copy all of this and you might want to read it before you copy it because this I don't need to copy because this isn't irrelevant for me. But all of this is relevant. So I might want to copy this and then I might want to go back to chat GBT and ask them to reword it and make it better. So you guys can see, I've just asked, please rewrite this and make it more compelling. And then I've copied and pasted the description off the website. So you can see here, chat GBT is rewriting that whole product description off the website and making it sound a lot better. So if you just read that yourself, you can see it sounds a lot better than the biggest competitor selling the cork yoga mats. So what I might want to do now is copy and paste that and put it on my website. That way,
way it's all unique and it sounds better than what they had on the biggest competitors website now if i want to add a benefit section to my website where on the website it has a drop down menu saying main benefits then i might want to ask chat gbt main benefits of cork yoga mats and whatever the main benefits are i can put them into my website so you can see here it's now writing out all the benefits for me and it's writing them out in numbers so i can literally copy and paste all of these number bullet points and put them on my website to make it compelling on why you'd want to buy this yoga mat and what makes this yoga mat so good because of the benefits so you can see here it says number one sustainability cork is a natural renewable resource number two durability cork is strong and durable number three anti-slip number four you can see it here it says naturally resistant and then number five the comfort number six the design and number seven the lightweight so these are all benefits that i can add to my website i might not want to add all of these but i might want to add five of them and you can see it goes over the sensitive skin i didn't even know cork yoga mats are good for sensitive skin that's something that i've just learned today and for those that are asking where all this information is coming from it's all coming from google and other indexes where it grabs the information and puts it in a sentence for you and this is what makes it so powerful because you know what is written is proven through the index of google now if i want to take things to another level i might want to add a testimonial section on my website so i might want to put make a testimonial for a user of a cork yoga mat so i want chat gbt to make a testimonial for me i have been using a cork yoga mat for the past six months and i've completely transformed my practice so you can see it's writing out a unique testimonial for me that i can add to my website imagine doing this manually yourself you'd have to think for ages you wouldn't know what to do for the first one hour maybe so you're going to be able to shortcut a lot of things by using chat gbt now if i want to take things to another level i've asked chat gbt what type of person would come and buy this product and why now the reason why i'm asking chat gbt this is because i might put something on my website saying who is this yoga mat for and then i'll list all of these reasons for the why it would be something for you so if people don't know if the product's for them this is how you answer it for them on your website you would have something like who is this product for drop down menu and then these are in the drop down menu now if you don't like the way chat gbt has written it and you feel like it's a bit robotic then you can ask chat gbt to rewrite it in a first person or a third person you can get really creative with how you do this now, another question that I might want to ask ChatGBT to help me make my website is what colors do yoga users like the most? Now, why do I care what colors they like? Because I might make my website whatever color is data driven by what yoga users like. So if they like the color black, they like the color blue, I might want to make my website contain these colors because it's called color psychology. Some colors will attract some people in a certain way. So if I use the colors that they like on my website, that's going to attract them and keep them on my website. So these are things that I want to know because it's data driven that moves us on to the paid ad sections for chat gbt so how can this help you with your paid ads for drop shipping if we go back to chat gbt i might want to ask chat gbt what social media platforms are yoga users most on and why do i want to know that i want to know this because then i know where to run my ads so you can see here yoga enthusiasts are likely to be active on a variety of social media platforms number one instagram and you can see here the reason why they're talking about instagram being the popular one then they're saying youtube is another the popular platform so all the platforms that it's telling me i want to run ads on those platforms because that's where my target audience are facebook so you can see here another section and it's listing it in order for me so you can see that instagram is important youtube is important so i might want to do instagram facebook and youtube and maybe try tiktok pinterest a lot of people don't realize that pinterest is a good platform so these are platforms that i want to make sure that i run ads on because these are the main ones my consumers are on and if you want to learn how to run ads for all of these different social media platforms then make sure you check out the free course in the description that'll teach you how to run paid ads for all of these platforms now another question that i want to know is what countries are my audience main in because i want to sell to the countries that most of my audience are in so you can see it's finding out the data and it's saying the popular countries on a wide world range is the following india is number one now i might not want to sell to india because of the quality of consumers but united states might be one of them that i want to sell to so i can put that in my list of countries that i want to sell to canada is another country that i want to sell to so i can add these to my 
So I can add these to the countries that I sell to, and I might only want to add the top five. So US, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia. So it is the top five countries. Is there one coming up that I might not know about? Germany. There we go. Germany isn't one that most people target. So I could add Germany in the mix. Brazil, I'd probably not do because of the high fraudulent chargebacks. But Japan is another good country that we target. So I might want to do Japan, Germany, Australia, United Kingdom, Canada, United States. So these are the ones that I want to target, minus Brazil and minus maybe India. So these are the countries that I'd want to target on Facebook and Instagram. Now, something else that I want to know is who are the biggest advertisers for this type of product, which is cork yoga mats? So another really good question that I've just asked ChatGBT is biggest advertiser for yoga mats. It says, I'm sorry, but as a language model, AI do not have ability to real lifetime information. But the biggest advertiser for yoga mats frequently, however, are, and you can see here, it's named the different brands for me that are biggest advertisers for this industry. So what I've done is I've gone to the Facebook ad library and searched for these different brands. You can see here on the ad library, I'll search for this brand and you can see all their ads are coming up because at the end of the day, you don't want to shoot blind and not know where to start. So by them listing the different brands for me, I can just add them in the ad library and see the ads. You can see now all of their ads are popping up and this will help me understand what images do well, what videos do well, what ad copies do well, what ad headlines do well. So what I want to do is I want to go through all of these different ads. I want to take some of the ad copies and some of the ad headlines and then ask ChatGBT to rewrite them and maybe give us five examples. So you can see I've just typed in, can you make five different versions of this? The right yoga mat makes all the difference. So this is an ad headline that I got from the ad library and you can see it's rewriting me five different versions. Elevate your practice with the perfect yoga mat find your balance on the right yoga mat transform your yoga experience with the ideal mat these are five different ad headlines that i can add in my tiktok ads or i can add in my facebook ads so instead of you thinking to yourself how can i make this sound good you can just do it through chat gbt now, another thing that I've just asked ChatGBT is, can you make five better versions of this? And then I've actually ripped off some of the ad copies from here and I've put it in here. So now what ChatGBT is going to do for me is it's going to give me five different versions of ad copies from the top performing ad performers from companies. So you can see here, they're writing the first one for me, transform your practice with the number one mat reckoned by yoga teachers worldwide, elevate your yoga experience with the most trusted teachers globally. So I could use these as different ad copies for my Facebook ads or my TikTok ads or whatever you're doing. You just need to specify what you're doing. Now, another really good question that I might want to ask is give me all the benefits of cork yoga mats in bullet points. Now, why might I want to ask that question? I might want to ask that question because I might have this as my ad copy and then underneath it, I might put the benefits and then the benefits that are drawn out, I might want to add this on top of my ad copy. So for example, let's take this ad copy that they've given me for the first one. I might want to, I'm just going to show you this hypothetically. I might make this my ad copy and then underneath the ad copy, I might do, for example, bullet points. So I might want to copy these bullet points. And then what I could do is I could write benefits and then under this benefits, I could copy and paste the bullet points that ChatGBT give me. So this is a great way to create a nice looking ad copy. You've got your ad copy, you've got the benefits, and then more importantly, you've also got your headlines as well. So I can take one of these and make this my headline. So there we go. ChatGBT has given me five headlines, five ad copies, and five nice bullet points. So that's one ad copy done and one headline done in this matter of a few minutes. So as you guys can see, I've just asked a follow-up question, which is do picture ads or video ads work better for advertising yoga products? And it shows me the reason why picture ads do well, and it goes into description of what type of picture ads do well. So you can see here, showcase a product or two, give visual representation benefits of the product. And you can see here, video ads. And it shows you that the dynamic way of doing video ads is the better way. So you need to really read this information and understand what it's telling you so you know how to design your videos or your pictures to best represent your product. And let's say, for example, I want to work with Instagram influencers or influencers in general. I might want to know who the biggest influencers are, go through their following or go through their suggested following and then make me work with them as influencers. So you can see I've asked them and you can see now it's writing down the different names and what social media, the platform they're on. So I know what type of influencer there are. So the first one is on YouTube. They've told me the name of them. The second person here is telling me what platform they're on, who they are, what makes them so 
successful. So I might want to go to all of these different social media platforms, go through their followers, go through their subscribers or go through their subscriptions and work with a smaller influencer that they might like. That way I'm working with the best influencers in the industry. So you can see here, I've just asked a follow up question, which is how much do yoga influencers charge for a paid post? So you can see here it goes, it's widely ranging on the dependent on the engagement and the influences, but it says here as little as $50, but it can go up to thousands of dollars. And then it also tells me what I should be charged based on the analytics, how many followers they've got, how many posts they've got, how much engagement they get. So it's also going to give me a guideline of what I should technically be paying based on certain metrics. You don't just pay silly money when you shouldn't be paying silly money because you know what metrics to look for. And these are a few ways you can gather information to really help you with your paid advertisement strategy. So guys, that was my quick tutorial on how to use ChatGBT with your dropshipping or e-commerce store to help you see success and save time based on data-driven information so you can actually help save time and also get better metrics, better information and valid information based on real life data that will give you the answers to your questions, but also to give you help when you don't know what to look for or you don't know what to write. So if you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos on ChatGBT and how to make a full-fledged website and all these other things, let me know in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys on the next video.